So here's a porch. I get asked a lot of questions like, is that bad? What do I do about it? Um, Etc. So this is a concrete porch. Um, we have no cracking on the deck. So we don't have any undermining, if you will. It's uh, approximately 50 year old structure. Um, the outside, I can't date the outside, but this is just a veneer. It's just a stucco, um, if you will, a, a rendering they call it. It's a very fine joint there. Um, that joint created the entire failure. Well, it, it didn't create anything. It's just a joint. And this thin veneer of stucco um, couldn't bridge that joint and deal with the expansion and contraction. And it just created a fine crack all the way down. Um, as you can see there, going all the way down. Um, no big deal. You just break this stuff off um, and redo it. Now, you can tap it, and it just sound hollow. That's all the weak points. In this case, you can literally push on it also and see it deflect. Um, just tear it off, just hammer, get down the bare surface. Um, make sure you don't, you've got a subsurface that can actually hold um, your stucco. Now, I'm a fiberglass for people trying to learn how to do this. I'm a freak on fiberglass. Use your fiberglass reinforcing um, product. There's a few companies um, that sell it, so I'm not gonna sponsor either one by saying it. Now, here's our reinforcement. Look at that, see that metal? That metal got water on it, it, it rusts. When it rusts, it expands, and it breaks apart this concrete. Now, so do you tear apart a whole porch to do this? No, not at all. Um, just taking a feel of the cable, see if I can, yeah. So it's that gone, that it rusted. That's just, that's just a wire mesh. Um, so this section was able to get wet and expand the metal. And that little bit of, re a little bit of reinforcement, that thin wire mesh caused the failure of this entire end of the uh, porch. Was it needed? I don't think so. I don't think so. A little bit of overhang. It's still recording. It so it did have good cover. So it, you know you would think water wouldn't get to it, but water did. Um, and then this is what the crack would look like if, if you were just looking at a crack on the side of your porch like that, and trying to evaluate why is there this crack? That could be it. The simple reinforcement caused the crack. There's the there's the crack there one across the top, the back side of it. And that's the good cover, it's a good one inch thick um, and a good, over an inch at the top. Now it's placed in the middle of this, uh, of this um, ledge or where we can see it at this point. That's probably the most useless place you can put it. All right, so here's the rest of the structure. The uh, porch is in good shape otherwise. It's in good, sh good shape otherwise. I just, you know, it takes a little repairing. You're gonna just cut that out. They're gonna get rid of that metal, that rust. Put some neutralizer on it if you still have those little ends, the little teeny ends that will show after you cut that out. Put some rust neutralizer on it. You're gonna close this up and you're gonna seal that area so water does not get back into your repair. Because when you close this back up, um, you're going to have a thin line again where moisture and water would want to come back into again. Again, you're going to seal that edge to think of that. But that's a tough one because this has a huge overhang. So what caused that? You, you look for is there downspouts. Nothing's getting water to that location. Um, there's no pipe under there that could have broken. There's no, even though we have snow in the ground, there's no indication of, indication of water running there. Uh, but then we have, as I just said to you, we have what? I just gave you the hint. I'm pausing. Okay. We have this going on. Whatever this is. Here and here. Or it looks like if we trace it backwards or two points of uh, water coming down to this, 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 this metal. There's a nice concentration of what appears to be, you know, your rust. Um, but... No source, can't find a source. So we're just gonna say it just rusted over time. 
perhaps it was um, installed and that was an extra rusty section and of metal and then that's what happens over 50 years so that's a pretty good life going around we have this little fine crack again that's just on the rendering as a lot of people know it as rendering stucco and then there also um, nothing big nothing to cry about nothing to complain about um, everything looks the whole side of this foundation it's not bowing um, got a lot of holes in the wall here um, these holes every few inches ah, I can't get the lighting for you guys you just gonna trust me on this hole 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 all the way down all the way down so you follow them there are more holes little patches everywhere those are indicative of uh, termite um, servicing that somebody might have had the house um, addressed for that at one point now I did go inside I didn't see anything like that this could just be covered up um, oh this is a great one you guys all I get this a lot I had a uh, building owner could have made a trillion dollars on him he had all these uh, slots like that on his uh, block and he thought they were unsightly and he wanted me to go into his building you know my, my company 11, 11 stories tall and close up all those slots that obviously the block guy brick guy did a terrible job on um, reality those are weep holes they allow um, water behind the built block to come out have a place to go so I didn't make a dollar and I didn't even get a dollar for uh, giving them my advice because uh, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't bring that, bring that, bring myself to to uh, doing that. We've made plenty of money on on that company before, so no crying. Last one um, for this load is there's this green stuff, right? Uh, this is not getting sun, and this is simply need to get some bleach and water and get this off. It's just not, there's just nothing. Just get it off there. It's uh, moss. It's uh, 